Um, I forgot. I forgot. Yes and no. I forgot to drop the oil on the engine. Um, I knew that was to be made, but I was not too stressed with that. I said, well, I'm going to do it later on. But the idea is that I think it would have been better to drop it uh, while it was in the car. Because when you look at it, the uh, plug is high above and you can see it's in an angle. So this bottom part is going to be full of oil. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to use the uh, engine crane and lift up the engine so it's going to tilt and it's gonna drop so we're removing the seal for the uh, vacuum pump because the sprocket is in there So that's the sprocket. This sprocket is joining the vacuum pump and the crank and at the bottom the uh, oil pump somewhere in there. So we need to remove this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, stop. So now it's going to be a matter of removing the three screws in here to release the vacuum pump and the fuel pump as one unit from behind. Okay, so we should have not moved it, but we moved it and we pushed this uh, binder here with a screwdriver to be able to release the um, sprocket from the chain. Sprocket is right here. Um, but in fact, you don't have to do that. If you can just, uh, uh, if the bolt align with the, the holes in the sprocket, don't mess with it, just unscrew that and that's going to be fine enough. Now it's a matter of holding the uh, fuel pump and the uh, and the vacuum pump on the other side of the engine because they're going to be free. Okay, it's this tor female torch right there. It's been uh, forgotten. I'm going to smack it right now.
I'm gonna try to uh, just pry it a little gently. It's probably just stuck. Yeah, it's trying to move. It's probably located here. Yeah, that's what it is. Here it is. I can hold here. Come on with it. 